I bought my first HD TV, and it was a 60-inch TV, and there were no programs on except the Discovery Channel. And the first program I saw that blew me away was called The Giants of San Benedicto. And on this trip, on two separate days, two dives each day, I had that boyhood dream. It was the magic dance of many manta, and the freedom and joy of these animals was transferred, I think, not only just to me, but to the entire group, because you can see it on their faces. Up to now, we've been pretty successful with the mantas, a couple beers. This trip was different. I uh, didn't see really any there, just one passing by. But we are wondering where they are. Maybe because of the temperature drop a, a little bit, a couple degrees, maybe that means there's a plankton bloom somewhere else in the island. We're going to try today uh, Punta Tosca, a different dive site, other side of the island. And usually the, with the plankton blooms, uh, you can find them feeding in the space over here. So hopefully they'll be around. This time we couldn't make it to Rocapapi because weather conditions are not the best. But tomorrow this promised to be a good day of diving here in the canyon and also in the boiler. And after that, head back to Cabo. After a couple days in Socorro looking for the mantas, uh, we did take some, but not like here. The boiler always an amazing place to keep coming back over, over and over here. Coming from Australia to come to this place, hoping to see giant manta rays and having the experiences we've had, the encounters, the moments where these magnificent animals are just are coming to you, not, not chasing, but they actually adopt you, which has been just amazing. I found this week to be absolutely stunning. Uh, I already had some affection for the manta ray, which I photographed in other places, but none like uh, Socorro, especially in the boiler. And it ended up being a, an extremely productive trip because I never imagined that I would get, get so close to these animals and how big these oceanic mantas are. My dive master was leading me to go under it and just looking at it so closely. There's nothing I can say really, it's just fabulous. It's wonderful to have such close encounters with natural animals in their environment and them being so willing for you to get close. C'était une croisière très intéressante. Le plus marquant pour moi, c'est l'interaction entre les certaines espèces animales et l'homme, le fait que les raimentas et les dauphins en liberté viennent nous voir et visiblement aient plaisir à venir nous voir et à rester avec nous pendant la plongée. C'est ce qui m'a vraiment le plus marqué, encore plus pour les raimentas qui vraiment viennent nous voir pour avoir les bulles sous elles alors qu'elles pourraient ne pas venir et elles viennent systématiquement nous voir. C'était extraordinaire. C'est vraiment ce qui m'a le plus marqué. On behalf of the ladies from, from Dive 2000 in Sydney, Australia, we've come aboard Solma with uh, the great anticipation of seeing the giant Pacific manta ray, and we were so not disappointed. Wonderful trip, wonderful meals, great crew, highly recommend it. You must come with us once more. Thank you so much, everyone. Love you. It's a beautiful